brothers and sisters in Christ. The sharing of the light of Christ on Christmas Eve during our Christmas Eve candlelight celebration is one of the church's most treasured traditions, one that I personally get goosebumps over in experiencing every year. And it's not just something we celebrate here in Lynchburg, but it's celebrated all around the world. You see, on Christmas Eve, we normally gather together. These pews are packed with people, kids making sounds of joy, and the excitement and anticipation is unable to be contained. We sing carols together. We pray together. We hear the word of God read and, and the good news proclaimed. We gather at the table, the bread is broken and the cup is shared. And then as we prepare to, to conclude our service, the, the lights are dimmed with only the candles from this wreath lit and a few of the lights in the chancel on. And our focus turns to the center candle, the white candle, the, the Christ candle. And in anticipation of the Christ candle being lit, we hear these words. We light the Christ candle because Jesus, the light of the world, was born and he brightens all things. Joy to the world, for the Lord is come. Joy to the earth, for the Savior reigns. The Christ candle is then lit. And as it burns, we hear the words of our Lord shared. For Jesus said, I, I am the light of the world. For the one who follows me will not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. One by one then, the light of Christ is shared to all who are present in the sanctuary. One candle at a time, the darkness lifts and the light of Christ fills this space. The organ begins to play, and we all join together in singing Silent Night, Holy Night. Christ, our Savior, is born. And on the last verse in unison, we lift our candles together as we continue to join in our singing. Now, unfortunately, this year has presented us with yet another challenge, another opportunity for us to work around our common and our treasured traditions. We are unable to gather together in this space on Christmas Eve, but that does not mean that, that the light of Christ can't be shared. It doesn't mean that the light of Christ has been extinguished. I want to invite you in, in your homes with those that you are with to take a, a candle to have everyone have a candle and to gather together to have one candle represent the christ candle and and be sure that 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 candle is taken to all the others so that all can be lit once all your candles are lit and you are standing together i invite you to sing the words to that precious hymn Silent night, holy night, Christ our Savior is born. You're welcome to sing that together or you're welcome to listen and to participate to this recording of, of verse number one provided by our Kidmen singers. As you sing and as you glare into the light, may you all feel the love and the peace of Christ with you. Merry Christmas to you all. Let us all walk in the light of the Lord.